This next story is about a local man whose newest business venture is helping create a self-reliant food economy. His efforts are making him stand out. He's the only Alaskan to be nominated as the people's best new chef. Think sustainable, think fresh, and for this chef, think creatively. Chef Brendan McGill seems to be adding all the right ingredients lately. Fresh, locally grown foods right off the farm and brought to the table with a European-style flair. It could be this farm-to-fork menu and passion for his craft that made him a Food & Wine magazine's nominee for People's Best New Chef. Critics on a Seattle, Washington food show all rave about McGill's restaurant and deli, located on Bainbridge Island, called Hitchcock. If you want great local food made creatively, done by a chef that definitely shows his love of food and cooking, it's a place to go. McGill is originally from Fairbanks, where he can always find a strong support system from family and friends. I've been to his restaurant a few times, and uh, each time it's been it's absolutely fantastic. He's always trying new things. Um, he's humble in terms of, uh, you know, doesn't expect these things, but they come his way because of what he's doing. Many are taking notice of his sustainable approach and creative menu. He's been voted as one of 10 best new restaurants in Seattle Magazine and Seattle Times in 2011, and Gao's Hot 10 Restaurants for 2013. Another ingredient to his success is in how he treats his employees. Every night, you know, after work, it was pretty common to have a family meal, and he would cook up something, you know, for everybody and the, the, all the employees to eat. And uh, we spend more time with those people than we probably spend with our regular families. And so, uh, you know, just treating everybody well, and making you feel like a part of it and, you know, delicious food. Hitchcock is a successful model of the hyper-local ecology between farmer, restaurant, and consumer. First we had to gain the farmer's trust, then we had to buy lots and lots of their food. Now uh, they consult us before they plant their, uh, their produce. We're selecting seeds to be farmed exclusively for us. We're going on, on deals and arrangements that are symbiotic. And we're able to have an influence that ends up on the plate and create something that's not already part of the food network that exists. Although McGill's mother would say her little chef learned long ago the secret ingredient. I would say, well, there's a secret ingredient in everything I fix. And he said, well, what is it? And I always said, it's love. Combine that with his passion and creativity, and folks are in for an adventurous journey and culinary treat. It seems like uh, sort of a, a Bainbridge Adventure type of place. We took the 720 ferry during sunset, and you could see all four mountains. So it was, it was beautiful. But again, you know, in there, you, you have a sense, you know, the soft, like, sort of dark wood, exactly. the, the, the dim lighting, the pictures of the, the homesteaders. It made me feel pretty comfortable. A goal chef, Brendan McGill, okay. strives for. I always tell people, I just want everyone to come to the restaurant with a little sense of adventure and just expect to have a good time and you know you might be blown away. It's time to return the love by voting for Chef McGill as people's best new chef. Just log on to www.foodandwine.com, click on vote for people's best new chef, then select the northwest region and vote for Brendan McGill. Again, he's the only chef from Alaska to be nominated, so help him win. And